Hey, it's Chris McNamara with Outdoor Gear Lab, and we're looking at what to consider when buying a portable solar panel. So the first thing to look at is the watt rating of the panel. In general, the watt rating tells you how powerful the panel is. So for example, this is a four watt panel. Um, the bigger they get, the higher the watt rating. Go, they go up to uh, generally about 30 is about the biggest that the portable solar panels will have. But just the watt rating of the panel isn't enough to tell you what it will charge. It also comes down to what the output power is. So before you buy a panel, you need to make sure that the output power is gonna be high enough to charge your device. At our full uh, gear review of portable solar panels, we list whether each device will charge a tablet or not, how many tablets it'll charge, if it'll charge a laptop, if it won't. So you need to make sure that the power is there to charge what you need to be charged and that you're not paying for too much panel or you don't have a panel that's just too heavy. Second thing to look at is if the panel has an internal battery or not, because if it has a internal battery, it not only means that all day long you can just sort of leave it outside while gaining charge and not having to worry about having your device plugged in, it also means that if the, a cloud passes over or someone walks in front of your panel, it won't interrupt the charge, which is very important. There's nothing worse than putting out your panel, thinking you're charging your device, only to find out that 10 minutes in, something passed over the panel, interrupted the charge, and nothing's been happening. Then what we look at is just kind of convenience. Some panels will come with a USB direct connect, which is awesome because usually you're just charging a device like a tablet or a cell phone that has a USB device. And uh, if it doesn't, Generally, you're going to have to have a whole bunch of different adapters and make sure that those adapters are compatible and with you. Speaking of which, making sure that things are with you, it's really nice if the panel comes with a pocket. Seems kind of basic, but you're always going to have little things that you want to keep with your pocket and you want to be able to keep your device safe from the elements and keep your device from overheating. Uh, another great thing about the pocket is you can buy a cheap external battery uh, they're usually about 30 or 40 uh, bucks. Then you can charge that battery and uh, then use the battery when you're on a plane or use the battery at night. And the pocket does a great job of holding that battery. Another thing to look at is weather resistance. If you're going to be sailing or if you're just going to be in lots of inclement weather, it's important to have a, a panel that's more w weather resistant. A lot of them uh, are reasonably weather resistant but won't necessarily charge while it's raining or you don't want them to be out when it's raining. And lastly, just of course, weight. You have the whole point of a portable solar panel is that it's really lightweight and that you can take it anywhere. Uh, if it's too heavy, you're just not gonna end up taking it places. So you always wanna make sure you're taking the lightest panel for your needs. So that's just a brief overview of what to look at when buying a solar panel. Go to outdoorgearlab.com. You can see how all these panels compare to 10 other panels and find out which is the best one for your needs, check it out.